So we are going to create a project. We're doing programming. We do it within the structure of a Java project. So we will do that. And we will use Maven as our main project structure. So because we're using Maven, we can do it in an IDE. We can create the entire project using Maven and the various wizards that are in the IDE. Or we can do it by hand by creating folder structures and a POM. Or we can do it using Maven itself. Now, I am going to do it using Maven itself, just for an example. I don't normally do that. Normally, I will use the IDE to do it. But it's important to realize a few things about Maven as we do this, as we learn. Maven itself is a build tool. It uses a standard folder structure, and it helps us make our Java project workflows a lot simpler. So I can just do Maven clean compile, and that will get rid of all the compile classes that I've got, clean the directory structure up, compile my code, show me any errors. I can package it up as a jar just with a single maven package command, and I can run the test just by doing maven test. So all of this makes it really simple to add into a continuous integration process. If you want more information on maven, then the best place to go is to head off to maven.apache.org. And the Maven site has all the instructions that you're going to need. Quick start guides, instructions, the commands, frequently asked questions, anything you're going to need. If you look at Maven, you'll get a handle on it. Now in this course, we're going to use Maven. I'm not necessarily going to explain all its facilities. We're just going to use it to get stuff done. And we're not going to use much of it. We're mainly going to be using it to pull down the dependencies very easily. That will help us upgrade between different versions of Selenium. It'll help us run our tests. So let's get started.